What's up YouTube, Gemini Johnny back again with another compilation of creepy TikToks to make you question everything. This is day 11 of this TikToktober series where I'm taking you through the weirdest, creepiest, and most disturbing footage I can find. So without further ado, let's jump right in. This man killed his daughter and then her six children or his six grandchildren. This is the 911 call made by Don Spirit after committing these murders. Just listen Start to this strong. and I'll explain the whole case after. Don Spirit was the father of Sarah Spirit, who had six children of her own. Don then murdered his daughter Sarah and his six grandchildren, including the youngest being a baby. He was very manipulative and abusive, and he eventually just exploded. He shot all the members of the family, and the baby's cause of death is still unknown to society, which is very disturbing. And the crazy thing is, he already killed his son years prior, but it was ruled an accident. Just saw somebody up here, and it's the scariest shit I've ever seen, dude. Like, I'm like, I was just down here, and I was back down there in that corner right there, and I literally just like can't. What the f- what the f- Another true crime story of how they were caught. In 2008, in Columbia, Illinois, Chris Coleman and his family started receiving threatening emails and letters. Chris Coleman, an ex-Marine, did security work for a popular ministry, and the work started receiving threatening emails as well, such as, I will kill them all in their sleep. Six months later, the Coleman family received a letter in the mail that was not postmarked, so it was hand-delivered, and it said things like, this is going to be your worst nightmare. Then in May 2009, Chris woke up early to go to the gym and later couldn't get a hold of his wife, so he asked his detective neighbor to check on her. At the house, the detective noticed an open window in the back, and he went inside and discovered something horrific. The detective noticed red spray paint all over the walls saying things like, bitch, you are punished. He went upstairs and found Chris Coleman's wife and two children dead. The autopsy would later reveal that all three of them had been strangled. Detectives then did a routine background check on the husband, Chris, and found out he was having an affair with his wife's good friend. Detectives actually flew out to Florida to interview his mistress while they were still interviewing Chris Coleman about the crime, but the mistress didn't give much information. Police had collected samples of the spray paint and learned exactly what type of spray paint it was, the brand, the make. Digging into Chris's financials, they learned he'd actually purchased the same spray paint on his credit card months earlier. An autopsy had also showed that all three victims had rigor mortis, which is the stiffening of the muscles, which generally takes place around two hours after someone stops breathing. This was a red flag for detectives because Chris said he went to the gym and an hour later, all three victims were found in rigor mortis, and this conflicted with his timeline. Forensics believe the time of death to be at about three in the morning, which means Chris would have been home at the time. Then detectives did what's called a KQ analysis, where they looked at writing samples from Chris and also from the threatening messages. Detectives found out that Chris would often put the apostrophes in the wrong place, and the threatening messages did the same thing. They learned Chris spelled the word opportunity wrong, and he put words together such as good times instead of separating them. Police believe Chris did not want to get fired from his ministry job for committing adultery and that the only option was to kill his family so he could start a new life with his mistress. CEO of where Chris worked also said that he hadn't missed work in 11 years and called in sick the day before the murder. He was also seen on a neighbor's camera playing catch with his sons the day before the crime and had been planning this for at least six months. Police believe the mistress was not involved and she was not charged, but Chris would get life in prison and that was how he was caught. He kept... Well, so far this one's been sad as f um <laughs> uh that was not creepy that was so depressing okay um i hope the rest of this is creepy or else i'm gonna have to scrap this entire thing this guy looks familiar he kept hearing noises while working in an abandoned oh, facility oh, oh. but he would soon find out going there was a mistake a plumber named corbin finn was called in to fix a leak at an urgent care facility near north of houston strange enough the place has been recently abandoned for unknown reasons as corbin made his way down the empty halls to find the source of the leak something hiding in the building made itself known to him whoever or whatever was hiding in the building rushed down the stairs towards him but no one can be seen. Confused as to who or what could be inside this closed down facility, he investigates, and by doing so, this happens. Kind of looks like the fucking back rooms. It looks very culty. The stage up here looks like a couple of altars next to him. Creepy. Okay, now, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. 
Have you ever heard of the Japanese urban legend of Rokurokubi? Rokurokubi no, is a type of yokai, a supernatural creature from Japanese folklore. They are depicted as female spirits with long necks that can stretch and contort at will. They are known for their ability to appear as normal humans during the day and transform into their true form at night. According to legend, Rokurokubi were once humans who through various circumstances became cursed with a supernatural ability. Some stories suggest that they were cursed by the gods as punishment for their misdeeds, while others suggest that they were cursed by evil spirits. Rokurokubi are often portrayed as seductive women who lure men to their deaths, using their long necks to wrap around their victims' necks and strangle them. Other legends describe them as mischievous spirits who delight in scaring people and causing chaos. Despite their sinister reputation, not all Rokurokubi are evil. Some stories depict them as victims of their curse, longing to be freed from their supernatural affliction. Others show them as helpful spirits who aid humans in their time of need. The Worst Ways People Passed Away Part 2 This is Hugo Abalos. In 2013, he was working his factory job just like any other day, but little did anyone know is that something would go terribly wrong. He was operating a meat blender, but suddenly he lost balance, oh. falling face first into it, dying instantly. This photo uh, shows a Chinese college student named Dang, just before going on a trip to the top of a mountain. While at the top, she was taking selfies, but suddenly she lost balance, tripping over a metal railing, plummeting to her death. In 2008, a Chinese zookeeper was tending to the crocodiles as usual, but little did anyone know is that something would go horribly wrong. One of the crocodiles got a bit too close and bit him. Suddenly, four more joined in. This would ultimately lead to his death. All right, guys, let's talk about these timeout dolls. Behind me is a timeout doll. These were used way back in the day, over 30, 40 years ago. Usually someone's grandparents would have this, and if the kid was misbehaving, they'd be like, look at the doll, that's gonna be you soon. Or they would put this doll in timeout with the kid, which is even weirder. A lot of the newer generation who got the timeout dolls do not like them for obvious reasons. These things are so creepy. This is the front of the timeout doll. It literally has no face. This is even more unsettling when you consider the fact that a lot of people claim that these things would run around the house and move. Granted, a lot of kids saw this, so it might be their imagination running wild. But just the thought of that makes me uneasy. In 2020, pranks were being played on this town, and these timeout dolls were just all over the place trying to scare people. Let me play that clip for you guys. It would be stealing your sleep. <laughs> Dolls are just creepy in general to me. I don't like them. About a week ago, a toy meant for play started causing panic across Festus and Crystal City, as one after another kept popping up and per- Yeah, it's a definite no from me. Let me know what you guys think about these timeout Same. dolls in the comment section below, or if you've seen it in real life. This creepy doll is hiding a dark secret. Let's talk about a Christmas horror game where a gift turns into something much more sinister. September 7th. Full game playthrough right here. In this horror game, you play as a student who lives in an apartment complex that has seen better days. You return home one night to find that your friend Anya had left you a present, but it's a creepy looking elf doll. Well, you don't want to get rid of it because it was a gift, right? Once the doll enters the home, things start to change. Disturbing things start happening around the house and you wonder if the doll is behind it. And you notice that the doll itself starts to move. You call Anya to figure oh, out good. what's going on with this present she gave you, but her response chilled me to the bone. Anya never left you a present. Right. Fair warning, this game has some legitimately terrifying jump scares, so if that's not your thing, be warned before watching or playing. The uh, Megalodon is still living at the bottom game. of the Mariana Trench. We know that this massive beast went extinct about 3.6 million years ago, but recently, a picture went viral on the internet. Researchers were studying the South Atlantic Ocean's dark bloom when they took this image from a NASA satellite near Sao Paulo. When they zoomed into it, they got this. It supposedly seems like a shark, and if we compare it to this photo of 40 feet school buses taken at the same resolution, the shark is approximately two buses is in Ling and is said to be a 70 feet long shark. Can this really be the Megalodon? And now you know that. This is fuck. If you ever smell flowers randomly in the house okay. and there's no flowers around you, that's a sign a spirit is coming to visit you. No. Check this out. So me and my mom, we were washing dishes, right? Yeah. Now our soap does not smell like flowers. Me and her were like doing dishes. We're laughing, like having a great time. And we're like, I go, you smell that? It smells like flowers. Like it smells like a garden, like a straight up <laughs> garden. And my mom goes, yeah, what's that smell? My mom's face goes like this. I'm like, what, what, what? She goes, they say when you smell flowers, it's someone that passed. Yeah, like a relative there. to you or random? It has something to do with, you know how at a funeral, mm -hmm. what do you give the body? Flowers. You give the body flowers. Yeah. That's the last thing that they're with. And my mom, right away, she went and called my Lola. And she's like, what, what, is, the, what is the death anniversary of, of Lola? Like, what yeah, is the yeah. death anniversary? That day. And I'm sure he said it was that day. Uh, cool. Well, oh, hey, that's a short one. Well, hey, what are you going to do? Some of these are going to be short, you know? But that's day 11 in the books. Maybe I'll do a little bit longer one tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. Do I want to announce that yet? I don't like it matters. Uh, I do plan to do, like, an extra long one for Halloween that will be posted. It'll probably be, I don't know, be at least over probably 30, 45 minutes. It's going to be an extra long one. And that'll be, like, this special Halloween episode. Woo! 20 days away. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And... <clears throat> nope.
I'm not going to use that. So if you're enjoying these so far, make sure and check out the playlist in the description below. And as always, you can find the original video there as well, or you can just click here or over here or click both. It's cool. But until next time, which is tomorrow, peace.